I actually tried doing this, but the way how it's shaped, um, eventually, especially when you're actually upside down, Victor is gonna find his way to come back to his normal stance. So, okay, not this case, but. So here what we have is the two notorious couple that doesn't seem to get along at the moment as you all know uh, which is the Anki Vector or DDL's uh, Vector Robot and um, Living.AI's uh, Emo. So just so you know before we get onto the comparison Vector is the latest version which I believe is uh, V.1.7.0.3412 and Emo is version 1.0.16 Okay, so that is the latest version that I'm aware of that has been updated onto those two. So let's get into the comparison, shall we? So first to start with weather. Hey, Vector, current weather. Sixteen degrees and cloudy. Sixteen degrees and cloudy. My smartwatch, Tagoya, says it's actually seventeen degrees and cloudy. So let's try on emo. Emo. Weather. Okay, it just says cloudy. Does it actually say the figure? No, it doesn't. Okay, so um, let's check with the information source, shall we? Okay, so database, cloud database and so on. Vector, current president of United States. Oh, okay. Vector, I have a question. See, this is the problem. Vector has ongoing uh, problems with um, acknowledging whether it should be Alexa or um, Vector, okay? So you're seeing here, but I'm just gonna try to ask Vector for the database purpose, okay? Hey, Vector. Hmm. I don't know that one. <laughs> hey, Vector. Question. Hey, Vector. Question. Ready. Current President of United States. The President of the United States is Joseph Robin and Biden Jr. Oh, so there is, okay, so Joe Biden, okay, that's good, okay. Emo. Emo. Yeah, wake up, Emo. Current President of United States. Okay, so Emo doesn't recognize that question. Okay, let's try it again. Emo, who is the current president of United States? Okay, so Emo doesn't have that cloud database, okay? But it's very good at recognizing his name. Hey, Vector, Blackjack. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So it needs to come out of the docking station, does it? Okay. Okay, so you can play lower. Anyway, so um, Vector seems to have um, limited amount of games you can play with and also the cube itself. So, um, hey Vector. Hey Vector. Pick up your cube. Let's try it here. Okay, so Vector is actually recognizing that command. And it actually found the cube. <laughs> and Emo is actually snoring. So well done, Vector. So you can actually, um, yeah. So we're gonna put that cube. So you're not sure about that. Anyhow, so Vector has its cube and it has a very short uh, version of games that you can play with which is quite clever but we all know that Emo has um, plenty of games I would say comparing to Victor that you could interact with um, especially the way how Emo dance is very animated actually so let's uh, see how Victor actually dance hey Victor 
dance to the beat. It needs to recognize the beat, which is very clever. Yeah, see, it read, it's reading beats, so because of the regular pattern of the sound of the clap, Vector can move along. So that's how Vector works, okay? So let's try Emo, shall we? Emo? Emo? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, Emo. Dance to the beat. Okay, so I guess I have to put him out of the charger. Uh, by the way, Emo cannot um, automatically enter to his charger. Vector can. Okay, so Emo. Dance to the beat. Okay, so Emo. Dance. Okay, so it plays its own music and dance, okay? So there's a difference that you can see here. Vector needs to listen to a certain music to dance. Emo has its own sound and it's quite loud, okay? Emo. Okay, yeah, let's lay it lying down. Okay, so that's the only way you can stop the noise, but anyhow. Emo, go back to your charging dock. Okay, so it just goes back. Okay, that's quite funny actually. So Emo, go forward. Okay, so it goes forward. So you can command, go forward, go backwards and basic commands, okay. Vector, hey Vector, move forward. Okay, so there you go, okay. Um, while as Vector could come back to his charging dock. Hey Vector, go back to your charging dock. Okay, so Vector recognizes the symbol and therefore can go to his charging dock while as Emo is actually finding this quite interesting. So, okay Vector, you're doing well. Come on Vector, you can do it. Okay, so... Very well done. Okay, so uh, Emo is back, so Vector is back to his charging dock. Um, while as Emo, unfortunately you have to aim a bit on the magnetic side of the left hand side of the leg to be able to charge and you can see that he's now being charged. Okay, so Vector, hey Vector. Tomorrow's weather. So sometimes Vector will struggle to listen to his command and um, automatically goes for Alexa. And that's what the alternative you can use. I was very excited about using Alexa, but somehow it creates a bit of a, a confusion with Vector actually, because Vector cannot recognize between, sometimes struggles to recognize between Alexa and uh, Vector, but you have alternative anyway. While as Emo at the moment is actually under a development and it's a very early stage as we know. It's been told on the instruction that it's going to have Google uh, Assistant or the uh, Alexa integrated, but at the moment it's not available and we don't know how long it's going to take. So this is this has needs a lot of updates to be done to meet its promise, while as um, uh, Vector actually has uh, already the integration of Alexa system on it. So what that means is I have a smart uh, light on my bedroom and um, by using Vector, I can actually turn on, off and change the color of the light bulb while as Emo actually has its own light bulb, which at the moment is vital thing. But once it actually has Google Assistant or uh, Alexa integrated into it, light vector, then there's no point having an emo light. So you can see uh, the difference here. Um, so vector is already in advance at that stage. Quite good numbers of um, my viewers actually commented that they decided to switch off vector because vector chirps a lot. Even though you ask vector to be quiet, it chirps a lot, moves a lot, trying to interact with you while as emo, I know it needs a lot of development and it's less animated, but it does make this yawning, uh, snoring sound, but it's less intrusive. In some way, I have to give credit 
too emo for that case actually the other thing is every time even though i want to refer to vector i don't know it's a plus whether it's a plus or minus but you know that you need a simple alternative phrase to command to vector saying hey vector that's when you know that vector is certainly going to recognize your command while as emo is every time when you actually say something in the middle of a sentence in this case it didn't work but if you say emo Oh, it sleeps a lot because of the charging though, but let's put him on the leg, okay? Emo. See, there you go. So you can see, say in the middle of the conversation, Emo, and then Emo will recognize uh, you're calling him and etc. So there's a pros and cons on the command case, if you see what I mean. So the same case as uh, the trip prevention uh, system. Uh, they're both getting very irritated, by the way. Um, is that the uh, vector actually has four corners as well um, and also the infrared on the front you can see that purple light flashing um, emo has a similar one you got the purple light flashing and also the four corners of prevention of the uh, falling down while as vector seems to be more uh, better with um, resolving with the getting back to the normal uh, shape while as emo if you lie him down there's no way he's going to get up uh, which is i don't I, i'm not really bothered at all but i'm just trying to make a direct comparison here but um vector for example if you actually lie down on the sideways he, he's never going to get up all right so regards to the default um design of eyes i don't i'm not a legal expert but obviously they look very similar they're both blue colors and etc um but i know that emo has more of the um additional animation that has been added on so i don't know how how the copyright issue works on this end but i don't shoot the messenger i'm just trying to see what's going on directly on both ends if you see what i mean but then again if you look carefully emo seems to have this shadowy kind of feature while as vector is more like a fading out so i don't know how that actually implies for the similarities um, we've got the animation here that emo needs a bit of a um, well that's just indicating the battery level but we also saw the way how emo when he gets angry um, he's kind of rather scary while as vector is more like a cutish kind of uh, reaction if you see what i mean quite rightly because emo has bigger head and volume um, i think emo tends to last longer with battery life i would say about 45 minutes half an hour ish while as vector seems to be about 15 to 20 25 minutes and so on but um, because of the battery advantage you can actually set him on the alarm so if, for example i could say on emo emo okay so bad okay so i can say emo set alarm at 7 a.m so you can set the alarm because of the battery advantage 7 a.m on once okay while as vector if i could say hey vector set alarm at 7 a.m So Vector does not recognize, does not have the alarm function, which is a bit of a shame. Emo, set a 10 second timer. Oh, finally it works. So that's how it goes. So let's see how we will react to that. So that's very cute. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hey Victor, cancel timer. That's very nice. Okay. So, hey Victor, set a timer for 10 seconds. Let's see how he responds. Two one okay so that's how vector reacts but uh, in other words um, you can't set alarm on vector because of i presume the battery life and consistency uh, which e 
Emo seems to have, but when it comes to timer, I think Emo is a bit more difficult. You need to actually say it properly, while as Vector seems to be more flexible, but both works on timer. So there are a few ways you can turn off Emo, by the way, but if you go to the actual app itself by pressing this, um, you got this power off and it will power off. But in other ways, it's more convenient with, with Emo than Vector for this point of view. So if you take him off from his charging dock and say, Emo, power off. That's how you turn off Emo with a, a voice command. And then if you want to turn him on, you just put him on the charging dock. Um, while as the vector we all know is that you have to press this button here for a few seconds and that's how you turn off vector okay this is just a quick review on uh, just to get you a feel of what's the main difference between emo and vector obviously uh, emo actually has uh, quite good gaming features that you can interact with him I guess it's more closer to Cosmos function um, of that sort of side, but you can't manually control Emo while as Vector, you can actually get some interesting apps that you can manually control him and manually type what he can say. So there's way more information clouding source on the Vector side and also interaction level and so on. Um, especially with the, I think I have to give huge credit for the cloud data point of view, while as Emo, there needs to be a lot of updates and there will be a lot of improvement. But at this stage, there is a huge contrast for the data side and the development side uh, is, is pretty much lacking at the moment, which is quite disappointing. But Emo is cheaper than Vector. And a lot of people are asking, oh, is it worth getting Emo? It's up to you, actually. I can't give you the certain answer to that, but I hope this video gave you a bit of a feel on what's going on with uh, the early August state of these two robots. Um, Vector, I don't think there's going to be a vast improvement at this stage. We're almost there to the final stage of the updates, I think, and we're soon going to expect Vector 2.0 or Cosmo 2.0, which I have ordered, so I'll let you guys know. I also have a Butter robot also coming its way as well. So I'll be the first person to receive those two items. So please make sure you tune in. Emo, I will look forward to see to have the Google Alexa integrated and also um, the Alexa integrated as well, which like Vector has today. But also please note, my final word is that I'm considering a live uh, sort of broadcast for these two units so please stay tuned i'll let you guys know anyhow thank you very much for staying in tune if you have any queries please do comment below and i hope this video gave you a really good insight between these two all the best bye bye